Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Little Penguin, the most common penguins found around New Zealand's mainland, and are, well, the smallest species of penguin. I hope you enjoy. At only about 33cm in length and weighing about a kilogram, little penguins are very aptly named. They are a medium to dark blue in colour, with them also having a white underbelly and the male birds being slightly larger than the females with more robust bills. They appear very similar to the Australian little penguins and or fairy penguins, which are also found down in New Zealand around the Otago region, colonising the area after the human-induced decline of the endemic penguins there. While once being considered as the same species within the species Eudiptila minor, genetic research done in 2016 and beyond has concretely assessed the Australian and Otago populations to be a new and separate species, Eudiptila novae hollandiae. While also being genetically different, there are also some morphological and behavioural quirks that also help in distinguishing them. The endemic New Zealand birds lack the brighter blue feathers seen in the Australian and Otago birds, and also don't form into large groups like the Australian birds do after dusk when reaching their nesting sites. In these birds, this seems to be a predator avoidance strategy by travelling together in a larger group for safety, given that they have to deal with mammalian and other such predators for a longer period of time than the New Zealand birds, which are more solitary. Little penguins are widely distributed along the coastlines of New Zealand and the many offshore islands which surround it. They dive to depths of up to 50 metres to feed on small shoaling fish and squids, as well as the occasional crustacean. They can breeze either as isolated pairs or in loose colonies, with them constructing their nests close to the sea in burrows either excavated by other bird species or in rock crevices or under logs, sometimes even being found under buildings. Monogamous, and with both parents sharing the incubation and chick rearing duties, they are interestingly the only species of penguin capable of producing more than one clutch of eggs per breeding season, though this is only found in a select few populations. The one to two white or lightly mottled brown eggs that they lay are produced from July to mid-November, with their incubation taking up to 36 days, and once hatched, chicks are brooded for a further month until fledging. These birds, while still in comparatively good standing compared to other seabirds, are still facing a big decline for a variety of reasons. Since the 1960s, the mainland's population has declined by 60 to 70 percent, which has been down to both predation from introduced mammals, entanglement at sea by set nets, as well as being displaced by landowners that often live near their coastal areas. They do respond well to predator control and nest box placement, and so, with some assistance, these birds can do very well, but only if we continue to put in the effort. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you're unable to vote for the Forbes Snipe, one of the most mysterious of all of New Zealand's extinct birds. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.